And we are back in Fallout New Vegas land. I believe last time we did some quests over here and helped these two fine gentlemen out. This father-son duo that are just sort of awkwardly staring at me. How's it going, gentlemen? Get you guys a drink? Buy you a beer? Hmm? How's it Hmm? Ted Gunderson? You know, if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. You bitch-ass fucking pussy fart. It, it literally... It took me like... 10 minutes at the most to find him. It, it took no time at all. Let's talk to What's Arcade. Up? See if he can offer any wisdom and comfort in this situation. I don't think so. I'm really very boring. <laughs> I better stories out of a freeside junkie. Alright. I'm asking you because I care. Yeah. yeah let's, just, let's just start asking him questions. Let's just dive into the meat here. Honestly, it isn't too difficult if you have half a brain and aren't a complete jerk. I wanted to help people, and I enjoyed learning, so I signed up. New Vegas is in trouble, so I came out here. If someone doesn't step up and try to help the people here, it's going to end very badly. All right. Where'd you get your medical training? I don't give a shit. All right. He has, like, a shit-his-pants look around. on his... Just glued to his face. He's just like, eh. All right, so... What are we going to do today? Honestly, don't know what the hell we're going to do today. We'll figure something out. We've got more side quests, more main quests. We've got our choice of all sorts of shit that needs to get done. But I also know that w there's like a whole nother chunk of the strip that we haven't even been to yet. Which is kind of alright because there's really not that a whole lot going on there. With our great army. But whatever, I'm gonna go over here anyway. Yeah, we've got Vault 21 over here. And I think that's like all that's over here to be honest. Oh, we got Michelangelo's. I forgot that this place even existed. I have no idea what's gonna be found there. Also, I think we need to go to this NCR embassy at some point. Or we don't need to, but might as well get it done. Just because there's a guy that we can talk to, and I'm basically just gonna tell him that I'm not gonna help him. <laughs> my buddy's at Camp McCarran. My, my whole plan is just to tell him to go fuck himself, basically. But this is the guy that you need to come talk to if you plan on doing the NCR quest line. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? You're kind of hot. What the fuck? Why are you so well dressed and sort of sexy? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Thanks for the directions. Sir. Cool. I don't know why she called me sir. Look at me. Do I look like a sir? I'm not an NCR rat. I ain't no rat. I don't know why the NCR rats all of a sudden. Also, I think I'm going the wrong way. Didn't she tell me to go the other way? <laughs> okay, well, I guess this is right. Damn, this dude's got a fancy-ass office. What is that fucking Richard Nixon you got there? I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's sure. a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I have a good feeling that I'm not, but whatever. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. Look at him typing. Not He's just not even hitting happen. the keys. And I don't think you're the kind of person that His would hands either. are just floating and gesturing. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like I just you to can't stop looking at his hands. And do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Yeah, put those hands down. No, 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 keep them. Uh, uh, let's say hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Additional do you benefits think you would and be able perks. To do this huh? for me? No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to hear that, but do me a favor and give it some more thought. I'll be here if you change your mind. Yep, he looked all sad too, typing away on his little ghost keyboard there. Well, yeah, I'm not going to be working with the NCR. I mean, I might do some more side quests for him, just for Without fun. But in terms of the main quest, I will not be helping the NCR take over Vegas. The NCR can go fuck themselves hard. Yeah, should we go inside this Michelangelo's place? I don't even know if I've ever been in here. <laughs> There's gotta be a quest or something. I 
don't remember what the fuck goes on in this building. Uh, all I remember is I think Michelangelo is the guy who, like, makes all of the neon signs for the strip. I think he's the sign... He's the sign guy. We'll call him that. Where is he? Michelangelo? Is that you? Hello. Okay, your name is Kate. Hi. What can I do for you? I have no idea. Yeah, who's Michelangelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Okay, where is he? Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Is this not the back of the shop? I thought... Bye. I thought this was the back of the shop. Shit. Well, fuck my ass. I don't know where to find this guy. Hello, Michelangelo? You back here? He's, like, taking a shit or something. Oh, he's asleep. He's asleep. Hello. Wake up. Oh, he's got a vault jumpsuit. Oh, hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Ooh, this sounds like it could potentially be a quest. I wonder if I should lie. Uh, bleh. Yeah, I'll lie, sure. <laughs> I am sorry. Meant no offense. The billboards are not ready yet. Please, I need more time. More materials. Oh, shit. Hold on. I need to, I need to get up and grab something. I'm, I'm very close to the controller, but I'm AFK at the moment. Alright, here we go. I'm back. <laughs> Speech 45. Repair 45. Spare parts, assembly tools, generators. Mr. House won't buy your excuse. Um... Alright, yeah, sure. I'm just, I'm just gonna be really mean to this guy. Just strong arm him for no reason. I should reason. have known that Mr. House wouldn't have sent just anybody. Anything I might offer to, well, encourage discretion. You could suck my dick. Uh, relax, I was just kidding. <laughs> have you seen the cost of pliers, duct tape, and saws lately? 300... I don't really... I don't really care to make 300 caps off of him. Fuck it, I'll just... I'll tell him I was We're, joking. Really? <sighs> okay, for a moment I thought you were gonna tighten my screws. Like everyone else around here. Okay. Hmm, that's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although Sheldon. here I go by my artistic name, Michelangelo. Ooh, so what brings real you real original. Um, an artist, huh? In the apocalypse? That is kind of a rare thing to see. Uh, yeah, what's the deal with Mr. House? Because spending myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's why... Okay. It's this place. My inspiration ebbs and I don't know how to stop it. Oh, I can't feel the warmth anymore. I can't feel the warmth. Um, now you go back to Vault 21. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? No, Mr. House filled it with concrete. I don't know concrete. how Vault would stoke Only your a few creativity. Rooms and halls remain. Whatever. My sister was able to turn them into a hotel. Ah. You seem to dread hearing about Mr. House's request. Can I just, like, continually ask him this question? Just it's this rewording place. it? Yeah, he's just like... I feel haunted by something terrible. <clears throat> well, I thought he was going to repeat dialogue, but I guess makes not. makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. Why? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Okay... Speech 50, you really believed I wasn't working for Mr. F <laughs> I can, I can, like, go back. I can go back on going back on it, sure. I should have known that Mr. House wouldn't have sent just anybody. Okay, well, this is just, we're just, like, talking in circles at this point. Whatever, just give me the 300 yeah, caps I and I'm out of here. It takes a lot to fill the I thought he would have a quest, but soul. he's just gonna jerk me around Take the caps with and dialogue me to my sorrows. Thanks. Yep, 300 caps it is. Here, now please leave me be. I've had enough bullying for today. I sure as fuck hope you have. Alright, let's get out of here. We've bullied enough nerds for today. See if I can even find my way out of here. I have, I have a really hard time with interiors in this game, it would seem. I just get lost inside buildings, and it's bullshit, I tell ya. Kind of a cool place, though. What do we got going here? Let's follow this train track. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do, this is pretty cool. Actually, like this building more than I thought. All right, let's get out of here and go do a quest or something. I thought that guy might give me a quest, but apparently not. Actually, I have a good idea. I know what we're gonna do. Since we're on the strip, we're already here. 
this is a plan that I have, I've, I've been cooking up for a while now, but we are going to go betray Mr. House and kill him. I can't really think of anything better to do at this point, so yeah, let's go kill Mr. House. Let's go kill him. Let's kill him. And as soon as Mr. House is dead, we got something else to do on the strip. And more, more fun little objectives. But, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, we just need to go kill the big man in the Lucky 38. We need to go kill Mr. House, because that is going to be kind of the next big step for the main quest line that I'm going to pursue. Which is obviously going to be the independent Vegas approach, where I take over. And I make myself the man. What's up with this guy? What are you doing? Hello. At this rate, one Securitron is going to be enough to defend the whole strip. Yeah, right? Pretty sweet, huh? Let's go visit the king of the Securitrons right now. Do 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 Where to, partner? I'll tell you where to. Take me to go see Mr. House. I'd like to have a, a very special word with him. Let's go, let's go speak with Mr. House. You have any dying words? Make your way to Caesar's camp and fortify Oh yeah, you're just trying to use me as a pawn. Very interesting. Trying to use me as a pawn still. Alright, so to kill Mr. House, all you gotta do is actually really easy. You just gotta go up to this terminal here. Do this. Type in the password. I also don't really remember how you get that password. It just like, it seems like the password just sort of ends up in your possession if you stick with Mr. House long enough. But anyway, we open this up, uh, confirm, now we wait. The Securitrons are going to turn hostile, so we're going to fucking haul ass out of it, out of this shit. Run away, activate the terminal, go ahead and scroll through this, unlock the elevator, and jump into the elevator. There we go. Now we're in the control room. We don't have to deal with Mr. House's stupid robots, because they had the worst reaction time ever. But, uh, there's the real Mr. House, ladies and gentlemen. He's a disgusting little monster in a tube. So, let's pull him out of there and say hello. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, unseal the chamber. Let's see, yes, let's, let's talk to him. See, what he's, see how he feels about all this. Christ, this thing takes 26,000 years to boot up. Ew, he's so nasty looking. Gross. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. Aha. Uh -huh. It's just business. I don't like you. I don't really like either of these options, but, like, whatever. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done, as asked. No, I'm good on that, yeah. It's hard for you to die, but... May yeah. there be a hell for you. Yeah, you like talking real slow, so let's just get this over with. Bye-bye. <laughs> That was a great shot. I, like, shot him right in the chest, and he just, like, exploded. That was great. Can I loot him? No, he doesn't have me. I don't know what he would have on him. Quest added. The house has gone bust. Alright. Quest failed. The house is... Yeah, like, I don't understand that. When you kill Mr. House, you, like, you get that quest, and then you immediately fail it by default. I have no idea, like, what the deal is with that. I have no idea if there's, like, an actual way to do that quest, or or what, but it just seems like you kill Mr. House, you get the quest, and then the game fails you. Now the Securitrons don't know what the fuck's going on, because Mr. House is dead, so they don't know who they're supposed to be worshipping. But arguably, the best part about killing Mr. House is that there's no more Victor! Victor is gone. I don't exactly know what the explanation for that is, but the place is, like, really cool, too. It's a nice-ass place. Your house has got a lot of space that he can't even use up here. Alright, let's get out of here. Go back down to the casino. But yeah, no more Victor, which means I can operate the elevator on my own like a big boy. Victor sucks. 
Alright, let's go, guys. Mr. House is dead. I wonder what arcade, if he has an opinion about that. What's up? Do you have any idea what I just did? It could be better. Uh, I don't think he, like, I think that his opinion updates once you, you talk to the yes man. Which is what we're going to be doing now. Now that Mr. House is dead, we've got to fill that, uh, that power vacuum in the Lucky 38 somehow. So let's go find the yes man. Who is the Yes Man? Sure, if you've never played this game before, is probably what you're asking. We're about to find out. I'm not really a big fan of Yes Man, because he's kind of fucking annoying. He's annoying in the same way that, um... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, there's the high roller. Who was I just talking about? <clears throat> I can't even remember who I was talking about. Victor. He's kind of annoying the same way that Victor is. Also, I think I'm going the wrong way. We gotta go up to, um, I think we actually need to go back to Benny's room and do some snooping around, some private investigating. Back to the 13th floor. And here we go. Benny's body is still here, just in the hallway. Nobody gives a shit. They all hated that fucker. Alright, so Yes Man is hiding over here in this not, in this very, like, obvious, not hidden hole in the wall. Let's talk to him. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you! What can I do for you today? You can do all sorts of stuff. Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man, huh? It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. That's very nice.